In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps medical slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can add the option number one, the detailed text along with the icon. And when I click, it will show me the second option with different color. Then the third option, the fourth option. After that, you can add your headline here. Likewise, I have created one more slide where I have added the image of the doctor in the center. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangles, draw the rounded corner rectangles, make the height as 4.7 and the width as 4.6 and then you can just make it a somewhat curve you can see here like this then align center align uh, middle and you can give some other color for the time being and shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to insert one plus sign here so for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this plus one here and hold the shift key and drag it like this and then this one you can make it the height and width as 4.25 this also 4.25 and then align center align middle all right and this also shape outline you can make it no outline then i'm going to insert some oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and then you can make this height and width as 3.4 and 3.4 and shape fill you can give some different color shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and make it transparent all right then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put this one something like this here you know you can see here or you can make it outline so that you can know exactly uh, where it, you have to place it you can see here you need to place exactly matching with this one you can see like this from this side now again for this one i'm going to duplicate this one then i'm going to uh, make it like this you can see here exactly it has to be matching all right and once this is done both the things i'm going to select and hold the control shift key and drag and drop all right and then just try to make it again matching with this so it should look like this something like this all right so once this is done what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select all the shape or before that one for the safer side i'm just going to duplicate the slide all right if something goes wrong i can go back again and correct it so now i'm going to select all the shapes or you can press ctrl a also to select all the shapes and then go to the shape format merge shape and then just say fragment once you fragment you end up getting something like this. so this one the outer one i'm just going to delete it something like this and here also you can just select delete it anything which is going outside i'm just going to delete it all right and then inside part the plus one i'm going to delete it so it will look something like this all right then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all these things shape outline make it no outline and make it no transparent now depending on the requirement which color you need to choose you can choose it now first of all if you see here if i just take this shape you can see here let me just copy this shape so that exactly for which one you need to paste the uh, the the merge and then you need to use the color i'm just going to show you so i'm just going to select this one you can see here we have got some different different shapes here you can see here all different so now what we need to do is we need to align uh, the group it properly okay for this one i'm going to choose this one and this one all right or i can just highlight like this also you can see here like this okay 
then this one go to the shape format merge shape and make it union and then i'm going to use this color all right now for this one you can see here we have got some different uh, this one so here as well as here hold the shift key and select this one and merge shape union or you can just do something like this also if something uh, which is uh, you know something uh, left out that also will be grouped it okay so it looks like this and this color i'm going to use the gray color now i'm going to select this one this part you can see here this one this one and this one and this also you can union it and give this color green color all right or some more dark green whichever color you feel better and then later on i'm just going to select this and union it and i'm going to give it white white is not visible so i'm going to choose a light gray color background here all right so you can see here we have added this one and let me just put this in center all right so now what we need to do is we need to just give uh, some shadow effect and other things uh, there is one mistake happened here i have to just uh, select this one under this white so let me just uh, do the ungrouping and this one and this one now it should be union and this should be white color now and let me just change the background color to gray and some part also i have to just select and make it again the union all right sorry and make this as white and then this part will be green itself again and then make it union so you can see here there's some small uh, uh, correction we need to do but anyway it's okay so once this is done what you can do is you can add uh, the same plus button here and give the white font as a white color so go to shapes again select the the plus sign and then hold the shift key so that you get a perfect uh, plus sign and then i'm going to give the same height and width 4.25 and this is also 4.25 and shape fill make it white shape outline make it somewhat gray and then align center align middle so it looks something like this you can see here and once this is done what you can do is you can just cut this part something like this i'm going to show you duplicate this one and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the uh, rectangle shape and i'm going to select this part only and select this one with the help of the shift key and subtract it and then i'm going to give a gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use a uh, type linear and this one i'm going to use one black color here you can see here and this one i'm going to use the same color all right and then i'm just going to put it here like this so it should it will give you it looks that it will give you a kind of a shadow effect here you can see here like this so similar thing you have to do it for the rest of the options as well and once you have done that one let me just delete this part i don't need so again let me just show you for this one Control d to duplicate you can see here and then again go to insert shapes select the rectangle and i'm going to cut only that part all right again give as a gradient fill and this one instead of gray color i'm giving this color and change the direction which is upside and then put it here like this so you have to do it one here one more here okay and then go to insert icons you can just choose any icons of your choice maybe i'm going to select the body parts and i'm going to choose maybe these four body parts click insert and then move it aside and make the height and width as 0.5 somewhat smaller and then just add one by one here you can see here like this 
and you need to just change the color this to white graphic fill white like this and then go to insert text box you can add the option number 01 center align make it bold and i'm going to choose the font roboto or any other font of your choice you can do that one then go to insert text box i'm going to say option all right and this one also i'm going to make it roboto all right if you want you can just reduce the size and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here reduce the size make it maybe a gray color center align and put it here like this so now it's easy for me i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here and choose the font as white ctrl d again bring it here and again you can bring it here like this so this is one this is the option number two this is the option number three and this is the option number four all right so let me just add this part also here i'm just going to select this one and i'm going to cut this part only you can see here all right and i'm going to subtract so intersect this one and again give a gradient fill black and this one with the green and let me just put it like this here all right so you can just make it more less of a black it looks like this all right so then one more thing which you can add it here so this way you can just make your uh, uh what you can say it it actually should not be here i'm sorry for that one it should be for this part for the white part press ctrl d i'm going to cut this one all right and same thing gradient fill it should be white and it should be at the bottom and put it here and this one also you can make it full transparent 